Hello, and welcome to another edition of Day Drinking with Kevin. I'm your host, Kevin McGuire. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about wine and grilling. As the summer comes to a close and the fall gets started, there's going to be more and more opportunities to do grilling, barbecuing, smoking. So we're going to talk about the wines that will go with each of those different styles of cooking. Whether you're grilling, barbecuing, or smoking, start off your day with a little crisp, refreshing, sparkling wine. And if you really want to get the party started, ask one of your friends to saber off that sparkling wine because nothing says the party's about to get started than watching that cork go flying. As the summer comes and we get ready for fall, we're spending more and more time outside cooking on the grill using the smoker. Surrounded by family and friends, those intoxicating aromas from the grill begin to fill the air and the neighborhood streets. And we're left wondering what to pair with our smoky creations. For me, the number one rule of any kind of food and wine pairing is always, always, always drink what you like. But I also firmly believe that there are a number of recommendations that we're going to make here today that will help you uh, experience food and fun, especially this style of cooking, barbecuing, grilling, smoking, in a very special way. When pairing wines with barbecue and grilled foods, I really like to use the same principle as any kind of food and wine pairing. It's about creating balance and synergy. It's about not allowing one element to dominate the experience. And when done well, it's about enhancing both the food and wine to something even more pleasurable than they are when they're consumed alone. In general, I focus on two ideas when pairing food and wine of any kind. First of all, complementary and matching flavors are like characteristics, matching weight with weight. Intensity to intensity of flavors, acid to acid, sweet with sweet, and so forth. Contrasting also means contrasting flavors like sweet and spicy, salty and sweet. And when it comes to grilling and barbecuing, the same thing I recommend is to not put too much focus on the specific meat that you're working with, but instead use your rubs, use your sauces and glazes to dictate the wine, not the specific protein. First, let's talk about vocabulary. Grilling versus barbecuing. What's the difference? Grilling is cooking food directly over a hot fire, often referred to as the hot and fast cooking method. In general, meat and vegetables cook quickly when grilling, and grilling there is like three cheeseburgers on a grill. Barbecue, the food is cooked indirectly with flavored by smoke and referred to as long and slow. Food is generally cooked at around 250 degrees or less. And when I talk about smoking foods, this is what I'm talking about. Smoking, in particular barbecue, adds different elements. In particular, smoke and sugar. Flavors that are important to barbecuing and are ingredients that sometimes can ruin many wines. These are elements that pay attention to, and the style of cooking that I will focus on later will also make a huge difference. Another factor is within the barbecue circles, there are several styles of barbecue, and those who are very passionate about these barbecue styles are equally passionate about the style or wine that they're going to drink with those barbecues as well. For example, the first one we're going to talk about today is Carolina-style barbecue. In general, this method incorporates the entire hog or pork butt. The sauce is typically made of vinegar, a little sugar, crushed black and red peppers. These sauces are quite thin and very, very acidic. And yes, there is tomato-based sauce here, but that's not really the focus of the vinegar. Think of the whole hog or the pork butt. Wine pairing for Carolina-style barbecue? The pork is laden with flavor, it is fat, and it is so acidic that you need some wine that has enough acid to stand up to it. Barbecue in this style goes better with wines like Barbera, Sangiovese, and other Italian reds, as well as Monastrel from Spain. It can also work well for red wines that, uh, because of their body, have strong levels of acidity. Also, if you're looking for a white wine, Riesling has a lot of acidity as well and can stand up to these acid-based 
uh, barbecue sauces for the pork and other flavors as well. The key here is wines with high acidity. Next, let's talk about South Carolina barbecue, home of those Gamecocks. This would be the whole hog and sometimes just the shoulder, but what makes South Carolina barbecue distinctive is its mustard laden sauce. The, throughout the sauce it contains ketchup either with honey and brown sugar and here we're going to focus on the mustard. Wine pairings for South Carolina barbecue include things like sugar and spice. Sugar and spice aren't always very nice to pair wine with that is. So look for something here that's intense and rich but still has good acid. Some Syrahs and Zinfandels work excellent here. But we don't have to be afraid of using white wine. Rieslings, especially ones with a touch of residual sugar, but still have enough acidity work very, very well. Excellent examples can be found in Germany, the Finger Lakes District in New York, and even Washington State. I'd look for those with about 1-2% to residual sugar. Next, let's talk about Memphis-style barbecue. Known for pulled pork and ribs, Memphis ribs are heavily seasoned with a dry rub and a brown sugar chili powder, pepper, pepper and cumin. They are also slowly cooked. These ribs are known as dry ribs. The meat remains juicy and tender and full of flavor. If a sauce is served here, it's going to be a ketchup based soft and served on the side. In Memphis, the sauce is used more as an accent and not the main ingredient. Wine pairing for Memphis style barbecue include Washington State Merlots, which work really, really nicely here. These wines can be big and powerful and fruity and still maintain that lovely acidity. For something a little driven, try a Lambrusco. It really works very well with the sweet elements of the barbecue sauce. And my favorite pairing for Memphis style ribs is a dry rosé. A dry rosé is refreshing and it has good acidity and cools you down even if your ribs happen to have a trace of spice in them. Next, let's talk about Kansas City barbecue. The stars here are generally pork and ribs, but you'll also find brisket. The key here is that everything has heavily sauced. What defines this style of barbecue is these thick sauces that are usually ketchup or tomato based. What are good wines to pair with Kansas City barbecue? To me, the thing here is over the top, over the top saucy finger licking barbecue that requires a wine that's equally over the top and intense, showing spicy, juicy, and ripe characteristics, along with sweet sauces that need something to be assertive. This is where a Zinfandel really shines. Standing up to all the elements, New World Syrahs also work very well. And if you're a big fan of Southern Italian reds, Try Primitivo from Puglia. Next, let's talk about Texas barbecue. When we talk about Texas, we're talking about beef. Brisket is the key here. We focus on dry rubs and smoke, not sauces. Brisket starts out a little fatty, but much of that is rendered during the slow smoking process. The meat can also be slightly sugared based on dry rub, and the brisket is usually served sauceless. This is one style where we do not focus on the sauce, but the meat itself, beef brisket. What wines pair with Texas barbecue? This is where I look for a medium to full bodied red wine with a dark berry fruit and firm tannins. I also look for a wine that has got less of a fruit bomb and more displays earthy and complex characteristics. Here, things like Tempranillo from Rioja it works excellently, as does Rhone Valley Syrahs, um, and even maybe some Dornach Syrah, Mervedra, or GSM blends. But I'm not going to lie, you'll often find me drinking a full-bodied rosé with my brisket, and half the time, especially on those hot summer days. There are key things to remember when we're pairing wine with barbecue. First, smoke. Smoke can be powerful and interfere with many wines and can overpower many wines, so you have to think powerful wine for the intense flavor that smoke gives you food. That being said, barbecue, when done right, shouldn't be a smoke bomb, much like a wine when done right should always be in balance. Avoid delicate wines when barbecuing. For grilling, it's okay, depending on what's being grilled, but not smoking. It's not fair to the wine. Big, bold flavors equal big, bold wines. It's not always about the meat. Quite often, it's about the outdoor experience. It's more about the food, the socialization, the slow cooking on a lovely day. Think refreshing whites, 
and reds to sip on while you're waiting for your food to cook. General wines that could be paired with grilled food? Think sparkling wine at first. Things like Prosecco and Cava and Champagne. I love a good sparkling wine on a hot summer day. And if I'm grilling food in that fast method, then a sparkling wine makes all the difference. As far as white wines go, white wines are great with grilled seafood, especially white fish, shrimp, oysters. Chardonnay is fantastic with most chicken dishes, especially grilled chicken. But remember, Chardonnay comes in a huge variety of styles, from light and crisp to full-bodied and oaky and buttery. And Riesling provides excellent acidity to pair with most grilled poultry or fish. Pinot Gris is also great with fruit, like grilled peaches and on a crostini. And I also love Albarino for any kind of grilled seafood. Rosés. Like sparkling wines, rosé is incredibly versatile with grilled and barbecued foods. The acidity in most of the good quality rosés can make them excellent pairings for both light dishes like seafood and chicken to beef and pork. And like a Chardonnay, they can be incredibly diverse in their style, bold and dark to light and crisp. For bolder styles, seek out those from Spain or South America. For light, refreshing, elegant styles, look to Provence or Southern France. Though some of my favorite rosés come from right here in the United States, like Oregon, made from Pinot Noir. For red wines, your standard here for steaks and barbecue sauce covered proteins is going to be an easy drinking Malbec. It is great with beef dishes, especially those with just a simple dry rub and no sauce. For a great steak like a ribeye or New York strip steak, you can't go wrong with a big, bold California Cabernet. Also, don't forget about Merlot or Cabernet Franc or just a Bordeaux blend. For dishes like grilled chicken, I like barbecue sauce glazed over the top. Reach for fruity and bold reds like Zinfandel or Syrah. Something that can stand up to those bolder flavors. And Pinot Noir is incredibly versatile and is great with grilled salmon, pork dishes like pork tenderloin. Above all, the number one rule for any kind of food and wine pairing is drink what you like. These recommendations are just that, recommendations. They're meant to help you get the most out of what your dining experience is going to be. At the end of the day, however, drink what makes you happy. Look at me. Rosé is my go-to summer wines for almost everything. Rosé, especially dry rosés, is one of the most versatile food wines that can be paired with almost anything, from summer salads to grilled chicken to smoked pork. I feel equally passionate about sparkling wine. I drink them with everything. Yes, everything. Because that's what I like. And incidentally, bubbles pair really well with more foods than even rosé. So when all else fails, drink rosé or bubbles. Or better yet, rosé bubbles. If you like this episode and the tips with what wines paired with grilled and barbecued food, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Day Drinking with Kevin. And if you have suggestions for future episodes, please email me at daydrinkingwithkevin at gmail.com. Until next time, I wish you fun on the deck, whether you're grilling, smoking, or barbecuing. And until then, I say, salute.